Ah, the beach. It's the first place you want to be on a work day, but the last place you want to be during a storm. Hurricanes like Irene in 2011 and Isabel in 2003 remind us why flooding is the number one disaster in the country. It was not pleasant, but we survived easy enough. What do you remember seeing? Three and a half feet of water under the house. When I got here, there were homes just floating. But even just recent storms prove flooding is a statewide risk. So back in the 60s, FEMA set up the National Flood Insurance Program as a self-funded safety net giving homeowners affordable insurance. It had a good run until Hurricane Katrina, which washed out the Gulf Coast and FEMA's entire budget, with a tidal wave of claims plunging the program into now $24 billion in debt. There's a lot of issues with the program. North Carolina has paid $200 million more in premiums than we've actually gotten in losses back. The state creates maps for FEMA that determine how much homeowners pay for flood insurance. VE zones found along the coast are the highest risk, meaning your home would literally get hit by waves during a storm, and policies can run upwards of $30,000 each year. AE zones are found all over the state where homes are prone to major flooding, but premiums cost much less, the average policy running about $650 per year. It could be thousands of dollars of difference. Willow Kelly is the government affairs liaison for the Outer Banks Realtors Association. It's been brought up that Dare County has the highest number of losses because we have 12,000 more structures in a flood zone than any other county in North Carolina. I mean, look around, we're surrounded by water. She says when word spread along the coast that new maps were on the way, homeowners worried flood lines and their payments would soon be rising. What we were hearing in other states, 2,000% increases in flood insurance, um, we were very concerned and very worried about what was going to happen. But instead, the new maps show just the opposite. We are seeing a significant number of properties moving out of the VE and the AE zone. John Dorman is the state's floodplain management director. He says while some homes will be added into flood zones, nearly 45,000 along the coast will now be removed, meaning they will not have to buy flood insurance. We're trying to be more accurate, whether a property needs to be shown in the flood zone or property needs to be pulled out. It's millions of dollars that Dorman says could stop flowing into the NFIP. Good news if you pay for insurance, not so good for a program already flooded with debt, a debt that ultimately rests on your taxpayer dollars until it's paid off. How we're supposed to pay down debt and pay, pay claims, I think is still gonna be a challenge, regardless of how many how many structures are in the flood zone. That's a hard thing to do. FEMA refused to go on camera but said in a statement we could not speculate on the effect changes to the North Carolina maps will make to the NFIP. Now homes right along the beach will certainly stay within FEMA's highest flood risk zone and rightly so when you come across homes like these. They were built years ago right along the coastline and are now basically just being swallowed up by waves, but that entire zone is shrinking. And it's not that elevation is getting any higher, but scientists say mapping technology is getting better. Well, going from a five feet vertical um, error rate to only 20 centimeters. The new technology is giving the state the ability to predict flooding down to an individual home level. Fewer people in the program also means fewer payouts FEMA will have to make after a storm. But homeowners dropping coverage is something no organization involved wants to see happen. If you're near a stream or you're near a river or you're near the ocean, there is a hazard. And so we're not saying you shouldn't buy flood insurance. We want everyone to certainly be prudent and be covered by some type of flood insurance. I definitely get flood insurance because you don't know. Just, just for the peace of mind. Peace of mind from a program costing the country billions to stay afloat. And while it's hard to argue against better accuracy, future storms will show us if the disaster program <laughs> will become a disaster of its own. Storms do come and go. Modeling is one thing, but reality is, is another. Jonathan Rodriguez, WNCN News.